Hello, it appears you're the real deal, Professor. I apologize for doubting you there. It seems you've quite the mind for puzzles. Don't play with me. Don't play with me today. But ho ho ho, how unfortunate that you must waste your time on one of these ridiculous cat chases. They happen all the time, yet every time that cat slips out, Lady Dahlia causes the biggest fuss. Don't even bother trying to talk her down. The best thing you can do is just go to find that cat. If you're as bright as they say, you should have no trouble tracking down one little cat, right? Arc and line. I hate this game. Let's talk to this man so I can hate this game even more. Dahlia sure is fond of that cat. I assume that you're the famous Professor Layton, yes? My name is Gordon. I'm one of the people who originally requested your services. I'd like to explain our situation further, but right now it's probably best to do as Lady Dahlia says. Alright, let's be out since we've talked to everybody here. Uh, Let's go find that cat. Oh, there's the cat. That was easy. She's just lazy. Lady Dahlia is just lazy. Professor, there she is. Drat, she ran off. We can't stop now. Let's give chase Luke. Who is this man? Cough, hack, hack. Blast that burns. It looks like the engine blew out. So this is Saint Mysteri, the famed stomping ground of the late Baron Augustus Reinhold. I wonder what kind of tricks the old Cooth set up in this village before he shuffled off. Oh, Leighton, you ridiculous dandy. Just you wait. All the treasure you seek will be mine. <laughs> All right. Barring that weird man, let's leave. Oh, it's the boatman again. He better not have another puzzle. He better not have another puzzle invo involving boats. Oh, it's you, Mr. Please call me Ramon. <laughs> Can I be of some assistance? As a matter of fact, yes, Ramon. Lady Dahlia's cat slipped out of the house. Have you seen her about? Do you mean dear Claudia? I think I saw her pass through here and run into a town a few moments ago. If that's the case, I sure wish he bothered to catch her before she ran away. Yeah, but I mean, that's the same thing that happened with us, so... What you expect, fam? This man again. You need something? You do, don't you? Yup, I can see it on your face. An open book is what you are. Excuse me, but you didn't happen to see Lady Dahlia's cat come through here a moment ago, did you? Ah, oh, the fluffy white killer, yeah? I think she ran toward the town square. Yup, she went that away. I see, thank you. Think nothing of it, buddy. If only all questions were that easy to answer. Well then, I'll be off now. Good, he's not gonna have any more puzzles for us. Who'd have thought he turned out to be such a nice guy? Shall we head for the town square then? Indeed, let's be off. Hold on, let's take a look at what's behind that blue door. Do you see it? That blue door over there appears to be open a crack. Care to take a look inside? We tried that before we got yelled at. Was this a shop? It appears that no one's working in the shop. I'm good. I'm good at my job. Paying attention, making analysis, analysis. Y'all got coins in here? I know y'all got coins in here. Everything's caked in dust. That's fine, but where my coins at? There we go. Dope. Oh, we found a chair. There's something I found very charming about this chair. Oh, that reminds me, Luke. Have you heard this one before? What kind of segue? <laughs> oh, this chair is familiar. Guess what? Here's a puzzle. Number 14, which chair? 30 Picarats. All right. A new multi-purpose event hall has been built in the center of your town. It will be used for everything from concerts to sporting events to conventions. With the hall complete, it's time to order the chairs. 
Five chair designs labeled A through E are being considered, but of all the designs, only one chair is completely suitable for the auditorium. Which chair is it? I don't know, man. Oh, that's it. Like, there's no... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, for auditorium. Oh, was that supposed to be the clue? We want chairs that's not going to make noise? Clearly, it's not C. That's a rolling chair. I feel like D, you can rock back and forward in. That'll make noise. A is a wooden chair. That'll make noise. And B looks like it has a rubber seat. That'll make noise. Is it E? This is either the easiest puzzle ever or the dumbest puzzle ever. Let's see. I think I've got it. Hey, I guess so. I guess so. Look at that. That was that was a good one. Thumbs up. Oh, it had nothing to do with sound at all. Of all the designs, only E can be stacked upon itself. In a hall like the one described, each event requires a different number of seats and thus changing. That was dumb. I changed my mind. That was dumb. I, I, I reserve the right to revoke a thumbs up at any given point in time. That was dumb. Well done. I suppose this puzzle was too easy for you, my boy. We found a painting scrap. Dope. Let's find this damn cat. Look here, my boy. This extinct if this man's oh he I've already seen it. I've already seen it. This extinguished candle has reminded me of a simply wonderful puzzle. I'm gonna fight Professor Layton. How many are left? It's worth ten. Okay, so this one shouldn't be too hard. Ten candles stand burning in a dining room. A strong breeze blows in the, the open window and extinguishes two of them. Checking back on the candles later, you see that one more candle has gone out. To make sure no flames go out, you shut the window. Assuming the wind doesn't extinguish any more candles, how many candles do you have left in the end? What the hell? The end of what? <laughs> the end of what? Ten stand burning in the dining room. A wind blows through and extinguishes two of them. Okay. Checking back on the counters later, you see one more has gone out. Okay. To make sure that no more flames go out. You shut the window. Assuming the wing doesn't extinguish any more flames, how many candles do you have left in the end? Zero? They melt? Was that a trick question? Oh, I'm sorry. Three. The rest of them melt. We lost three flames. We didn't lose three candles. So seven continue. This was a trick-ass question. He almost got me, too. Uh, How many candles do you have? Three. Yeah, nice try, boy. Ooh, ooh, I'm too clever. Nice try. That's correct. The seven counts managed to stay lit. It will melt out. When I asked the end of what, that's when it hit me. That's when it hit me. The only candles that remain in the end of the three that were extinguished by the wind and therefore stay intact. Nice try, boy. Ooh, you got to be smarter than that. Excellent work, my boy. Sometimes it's important to consider the obvious, too. Delving too deep into the implied can cause misconceptions. All right, can we get the hell out of here now? Oh, found a coin. Yep, we can go now. <laughs> get out of here. You were supposed to leave, good sir. Let's go find that cat. Let's go find that cat, and then we can call it. Hmm. Hey, you two, help me out here, would you? I'm in a real pickle. What seems to be the problem, sir? Some knucklehead went and raised the bridge while I was on break. Hmm. Then as if that wasn't bad enough, the chowder head made off with my only bridge crank. Hmm. Oh dear, so you mean to say? Hmm. You got it, buddy. Until that thing shows up, 
No one is getting in or out of town. I'm still looking for that blasted crank, but I'm seeing too much red to get anything done. Hmm. What kind of punk pulls a prank like this anyhow? Oh, oh, oh yeah. I found this doodad in the street when I was looking out for my crank. Got any idea what it is? We found a strange gizmo. Looks like an antenna. The gizmos option has been added to the menu. Oh boy. Touch the trunk to open it, then tap the gizmos icon. From here, try to assemble the various mechanical parts you've gathered around town. Oh, I feel like that's gonna be fun. I feel like that's gonna be fun. Here's the cat. Aha, fluffy, check. Purple bow, check. Sullen expression, check. No doubt about it, that's Claudia. Good eye, Luke. Now that we've located her, the question at hand is how to go about catching her. It's gonna be a puzzle. We're gonna catch her with a puzzle. Leave this one to me, professor. Ah, yes, I've forgotten that you have. Oh, that's right. Luke can talk to animals. That's one of the things. <laughs> that's one of the things that should have been expressed a lot earlier. He, he can talk to animals, communicate with them. Oh, yes, that's right. I'd forgotten that you have a way with animals. Well, go right ahead then. Here, Claudia. Here, girl. Well, looks like she attacked Luke. And she took the hell off. Luke, are you all right? I'm sorry I wasn't much help, Professor. She's far feistier than I imagined. Uh, we're going to have to find this cat after we talk to this man. Yawn. Hmm? Yeah, I saw that cat. She almost scratched out your eye. Help catch her, you say? Thanks, but no thanks. I like living. Did you see that ferocious beast? I'm not going anywhere near her. Could I at least tell, could you at least tell us in which direction she ran off? I saw that killer scurry off westward. She had fangs the size of daggers. All right, well, moving to the west. Oh, I almost forgot. We ought to visit the local inn and see if we can't procure some rooms for the night. Sounds good to me, Professor. I was certain I saw an inn uh, near the entrance to the village, just south of the plaza we're in. Let's head over right now and see if we can't set up some lodging. All right, y'all boys, let's head south. Oh, there's the inn. I remember the inn from uh, when we first got here. Hey, let's look. This woman? Question mark? Oh, I'm giving her a hag voice. I don't even care. Her name is perfect. Let me see. Let me get my water ready. Let me give her a smoker's voice. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello there. Welcome to the end at St. Mysterie. We're the only inn in town, you know. You see, fillers, visitors are rare. <sighs> visitors to our little village are quite rare. Ah, oh, good day, madam. We seek lodging for the night. Do you have any open rooms we could rent? Oh, my stars, what terrible timing. We're currently remodeling all our guest rooms. The only rooms left are in the attic, but if you don't mind, I'll make sure you're very comfortable. I do hope you'll stay with us. It's been a while since a fine gentleman such as yourself stayed with us. The rooms are... <clears throat> oh, my God, that hurt. Oh my god. <laughs> the rooms are not very bright, but I'll make sure they sparkle. Come back. Can you come back in a bit? Oh, and I'll do my best to get you two normal rooms ready for you as soon as possible. Oh, thank you. But you need not trouble yourself on my behalf. As long as I have a bed to sleep in, I'm satisfied. Ah, yes, about that. Oh, what terrible luck. You see, we're all, all the beds are out being refinished. But don't worry, Mama Beatrice is going to take good care of you two. I'll even drop the nightly rate. The end option is bad to the trunk. It, the end is a puzzle in which we must rearrange items in our, oh my god. <laughs> 
I have to rearrange items in our in our rooms. To access it, touch the trunk icon, then touch the in icon. When you obtain a new item for Luke, will be actually where we want to put it. Oh, I get it. It's basically our inventory. It's not an actual. It better not be an actual puzzle. Here's something to make the place feel a little bit more like home. It's a stool. We're putting the stool in Luke's room. It's not an actual puzzle. Let's check that out. Lord have mercy. You can move furnishings. So wait, it's just it's just inventory. It's not even a puzzle. You just gotta move stuff. It appears on the top screen in the room in which you place it. Actual location is a sign. Blah, blah, blah. And come on how it looks. Your goal is to arrange the ideal living space for both of them. Oh joy. You can check how they feel about their rooms by tapping their icons. Go back. When it's when a new item if you get a new item when one of your rooms is full, it will be sent to the room with remaining space. When both Luke are completely satisfied with the living quarters, something good will happen. We're gonna unlock something. And it's gonna be dumb. This man has a chair or a stool. It looks like it wouldn't be comfy to sit on. So let's put it in what's his face room. No good. He don't like it either. So, so what? You just throw it away? No, he doesn't like it. Layton does. Okay, here you go. I'm not talking to that woman again. You guys can't make me. Uh, let's see, y'all got any coins in here? Y'all hiding any coins anywhere? Oh, here's a puzzle. Here comes a puzzle. Look, a hidden puzzle. How the hell did I know? Puzzle number 112. We've done eight so far. This is number 112, my beloved. Okay. A work from a famous artist was recently discovered. The painting is a self-portrait of the painter in his later years. It is entitled, My Beloved. Assuming the artist wasn't a huge narcissist and referring to himself, his beloved should appear somewhere in the painting. Can you find his beloved? Uh, move the different sections of the picture around with your stylus. Touch the arrows to rotate the sections. Okay, so this is one of those weird pictures where it's actually something else. Let's rotate all these bad boys. Hell, this one's going to be... This is a challenge. I like this one. Let's see. Realistically, the pieces have to arrange... in a way that makes sense when you look at them. So let's see, what if I move that? No, that makes make sense. How about, oh wait, not that one. Move this one. What does this do? Oh no, this doesn't rotate anything. Okay. So let's see, what if we move these back? Uh-uh, that doesn't even look like a person. Oh, I think I see it. This up here is a nose. It looks like a nose or a duck or something. Watch it be a duck. Oh, this is this is crazy. I like this one. This was this was wild. Let's see. What if we put this? Oh wait, that's not how it works. Put this one there. Turn that. Oh boy. When I get this one, I'm gonna feel. Hang on. Oh, I found it. <laughs> I found it by mistake. 
I think I have it arranged right. This is the hat. You're looking at the negative space where there's nothing, where there's nothing, the black stuff. So this is the hat. This is she's looking that way. And then like the lower half of the painting is like her neck down. It looks like I think that's it. Well, here's my guess. Damn it. I got the top half right. I know I got the top half. I know I got the top half. All I have to do is I think I just turn switch the two bottom ones and turn them both upside down. It's just hard to look at, that's all. What if I turn these two upside down and switch them? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So so you can see like her breast before I had it backwards. It just looks weird. I was close. I was close. Legends Apprentice, save the day. We're not doing too bad, you know? Not doing too bad. The silhouette of the artist's true love was hidden in this painting. The painting must have been a tribute to his love for her or for himself. That's dope. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to Alt Play as well as turn on notifications and follow at the Alt Play on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.